Hey yo, viewers of YouTube, my name is Tyler of Chico Crypto, and if you don't know by now, me wearing this means it's time for breaking down the blockchain. And today, I'm gonna be doing it with a beer. Might as well. So if you know what time that is, it's opening this beer, Summer Honey Ale from Big Sky um, Brewing Company, Montana, Missoula. Oh, it's good. So coin flip time. If I don't make this, first person to comment, win some crypto. Let's go. Woo! So yesterday, I took to my Twitter community to ask for some help deciding which project should get a Chico-style breakdown. While the community spoke and the pick with a significant lead of any other choices is Cardano. So Cardano is described as a third generation blockchain. First generation was Bitcoin and its proof of work algorithm. Second generation was Ethereum and its smart contracts. And now Cardano, which is supposedly seeing another evolution in blockchain technology. So Cardano is unique in that everything that is put into Cardano needs to be peer reviewed for legitimacy and accuracy. All technology white paper and documentation is sent to a third party reviewer to be reviewed and confirmed for its accuracy and legitimacy. Now, this is great and all, but I have to bring up the point of who are these peer reviewing third parties for crypto protocols? How do we know these are the guys we can trust? How do we know these are the brightest minds in crypto? I agree with creator of Cardano, Charles Hoskins, that just posting a paper online and having the public view it may not be the best way to go. And there should be a better way of fact checking blockchain technologies. The whole point of crypto and Bitcoin is decentralization. So now we're going to move towards a centrally controlled peer review. That is just my biggest gripe with Cardano and I had to get it out there. And one thing I don't like about it. So the technology behind Cardano is aiming to solve the biggest issues in cryptocurrency, scalability, interoperability, and sustainability of the blockchain. Cardano is a complex and difficult project to grasp. Even for me, Cardano has five white papers describing their technologies. First is the original Ouroboros white paper. Next is the enhancement to Ouroboros, Prowse. Third is Kaleidoscope, a poker protocol. Fourth is Scrape, scalable randomness attested by public entities. And lastly is their sidechain white paper. Currently, the Cardano mainnet is running off the original Ouroboros proof of stake blockchain protocol. So that is why we will be breaking down that today and how it contributes to Cardano's scalability. To understand Ouroboros, we need to first understand what proof of stake is. Proof of stake is similar to proof of work, but it makes the entire mining process virtual and replaces miners with validators. The process works like this. A person or validator can lock up some of their coins as a stake or bet. The person can then start validating blocks. A validator's chance of mining a block is based off how much stake they have. The proof of stake protocol then randomly elects leaders the right to submit blocks and get transaction fees. The fundamental problem for this type of proof of stake based blockchain is the leader election process, which current proof of stake systems is prone to gaming and control by few. Ouroboros is the first provably secure proof of stake system that addresses these issues. So let's now take a look underneath the hood and see what it's all about. Ouroboros looks at the distribution of tokens in the ecosystem from a source of random numbers. They consider a setting where time is divided into epochs and slots within the blockchain. So an epoch is a very short interval, usually around 20 seconds where a snapshot of the current set of stakeholders is taken. Each epoch is broken down into slots. So each slot in the blockchain gets its own slot leader who is randomly chosen. The slot leader acts as miners in the proof of work protocol in the sense that they are the ones who choose the blocks that get added. However, they are limited to adding only one block during an epoch. If a slot leader misses their chance and doesn't choose a block, they miss their opportunity and have to wait until they are a slot leader again. It is okay for one or more slots to remain empty without a generated block, but the majority of blocks above 50% must be generated during an epoch. Obviously, slot leaders have a highly important role in the ecosystem and have a ton of power, and to be considered for this qualification, you must own a certain percentage of Cardano. And the higher your stake is in the system, the more chance you have of being elected as a slot leader. 
The slot leaders form a committee after choosing blocks, and they are then responsible for executing the election of the next slot leaders of the next epoch. Since the position of the leader is powerful, there must be some sort of randomness involved. The election of slot leaders is broken down into two stages, the commit stage and the reveal stage. Let's go through each of these stages and exactly how they function. In the commitment stage, slot leaders generate a secret random values and then form commitments. The commitment is a message that contains encrypted shares and a proof of secret. Encrypted shares will become important in the reveal stage. After that, the leaders sign their commitments with their private keys and specifies the epoch number and attaches their public keys. By doing this, everyone can check who created the commitment and they can check which epoch the commitment belongs to. After this is done, each leader sends their commitments to other leaders. Eventually, each leader collects the other commitments and these commitments get put into a block and become part of the blockchain. You can picture commitments like a locked box that have a secret in it, and there is a sole special value that unlocks this box. How do we unlock the boxes? What's in the box? Well, this leads us into the second phase, the reveal stage, which is comprised of two phases, reveal and recovery. In the initial reveal phase, the leaders send their openings to the locked box with the commitments, and these openings are also put into a block and become part of the blockchain. This leads us to the second phase of the reveal stage, the recovery phase. Leaders should have both commitments and openings, but some leaders may act maliciously and publish their commitments without the openings. This would render the process null and void. In order to circumvent this, the honest leaders post all the encrypted shares, which was mentioned before, and simply reconstruct the secrets. Even if leaders act in a malicious manner, the system will still work. When the commitments and openings match or is reconstructed from the encrypted shares, the secrets from the commitments are revealed from the leaders in the form of a randomly generated byte string or seed. All leaders now possess the seed, and the seed is highly important as it ties to the election of new sought leaders. And this is where the coin flipping protocol of Cardano comes in. The coin flipping protocol is a multi-party computation in which each slot leader performs a random action called coin tossing. Coin tossing allows two or more parties to generate unbiased randomness that can be used to define values on the initial random string and initial honest stakeholder distribution, thus picking the slot leaders at random. Cardano uses a follow the Satoshi algorithm for this. FTS uses the shared seed and essentially selects a random coin from the stake. Whichever slot leader possesses a coin becomes a slot leader. Pretty easy. This is why with Cardano, the more stake you have in the Cardano system, the more chances you have of winning the lottery and becoming a slot leader. Well, viewers, this was just an initial breaking down the blockchain of Cardano. As I mentioned before, there is a lot more to this project. Currently, the mainnet is centralized as um, the Cardano Foundation is confirming most of the blocks. But decentralization is coming soon and staking will be implemented. Does this mean you want to get your piece of ADA here soon? I think so. Cheers, and as always, I'll see you tomorrow.